Okay, hey everyone, this question right here is, is a classic in this chapter. Okay, uh, There's a, a whole bunch here that you're seeing that, that show up quite a bit here. This one says that you got a whole bunch of people at a, at a meeting, everyone shakes hands with everybody else exactly once, and here's the important bit of information, there are 55 handshakes in total. So the question is how many people were there? Okay, well, what has happened here is I don't know how many people there are, but I've paired them up, okay? And I've paired them up to, to make handshakes here, but order doesn't matter. It's not like, like, you know, person A meeting person B is different than person B meeting person A. They're, they're the same thing. So order is irrelevant. So I know that if I do N choose two, I ended up with 55 handshakes. Now to solve this, to figure out what N is, um, I can use my calculator to do this. And I'll show you that in just a second here. But because it's N choose two, this is actually going to simplify down to a quadratic fairly quickly. If this is n choose 3, it would reduce down to a cubic, n choose 4 to a quartic. So uh, the expectation here is that if it's an n choose 2, you should be able to do this one algebraically pretty quickly. And so this becomes n factorial over n minus 2 factorial 2 factorial will equal 55. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move that 2 factorial up. And so this is going to end up being n minus, sorry, n div factorial divided by n minus 2 is going to equal 110. And then I'm going to simplify this by expanding out the larger factorial, and that's going to be n factorial. And so I can expand that out to get n, n minus 1, actually I didn't give myself enough room there, times n minus 2 factorial, and that's what I was looking for, okay, so that it will cancel with the denominator. And so I'm going to be left with n times n minus 1 is equal to 110. Now, when I think about my factors of 110, just again, look at this pattern here. This is saying that some number multiplied by a number 1 less than it is 110. So if you think about your factors of 110, I'm hoping it's fairly clear that that number n must be 11. This has got to be 11 times 10. Now, if that's not clear to you right now, you could always just multiply that out and get n squared minus n and then bring the 110 over, set that equal to zero because it's a quadratic. But you're, you're going to have to answer that same question here in just a second. I'm still going to have to answer the question, what are the factors of 111 that differ by 1? It'll be negative 11 here plus 10, and so my answers will be 11 and negative 10. The negative doesn't make any sense, so therefore n is equal to 11. There were 11 people in that group.